So we're gonna we're gonna take you through this quickly, and we're gonna show you um, beginning to end. We're gonna show you the genesis of a user being created. We'll propagate that uh, record of truth. That information will be taken in by uh, Microsoft Officer 65, Syncplicity, and Dropbox. We have many more provisionable applications, but this is what we're gonna be working with um, on this demo. So a couple prerequisites as well. Um, we have our Active Directory connector that's up and running. So this is a small MSI file, about six megs in size. And it has a very small footprint. Let me pull up our uh, task manager here. And as you can see here, um, smaller than a web browser. So the footprint is extremely small. And what this is doing, um, it's pinging and ponging your directory through, uh, the, on network, port, uh, port 389, the LDAP port, to and log in uh, via an SSL connection or the HTTPS ports through, uh, through that mechanism. So what we're going to do here is add a user to this provisioning folder. Now, before I do that, again, more prerequisites are here. So we already created a role in one login. A role inside of one login is just a collection of applications, as you can see here. And the role that our user is eventually going to automatically be assigned with is this provisioning role, which will give them Dropbox, um, an improvisely.com, uh, improvisely Office 365 account, as well as a Simplicity account as well. So that will all uh, happen right on the fly. Firefox will be the browser that we're going to log into as the end user, and Chrome is where we're going to um, stick with as the admin. So I talked about automating this user, and, and how do we do the automating? We have these mappings. So mappings in one login are just a, a condition-based statements. And as you can see here, what this says is distinguish name or when the organizational unit contains provisioning. What we're going to do in one login is set the role or its collection of applications to provisioning. Again. Those apps um, will eventually be Officer 65, Simplicity, as well as Dropbox. So we're going to get this started, and I'm going to add a user right into my uh, directory here, Active Directory. Now, the beautiful thing about one login is everything happens in real time. So before this user is not going to pop, propagate until I give him an email address in his profile. So just so you guys can see here, there is no Pat LaFontaine. I'm going to come back here in Active Directory, and I'm actually going to give him an email address. And once this uh, gets inputted, We'll now see him appear here in real time. So let me refresh this. And there's Pat LaFontaine already inside of one login, and he's already associated with the role of provisioning. So that's perfect. So now as the admin, there's two different things that we can do here. Now what I'm showing you here is a manual process. So we have Dropbox, Office 365, and Simplicity. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to approve the user. And as you can see here, um, with Office 365 using one login skim engine, we can actually provision over licenses as well as other uh, security group information. I don't have any associated with this user uh, since I just he's an instant user and I just uh, added him. I didn't create any security groups for this profile. So we're just going to prove that. And now he has a license, assuming I have licenses available. Um, if I didn't, we would get an air back from Microsoft through, through their API. And then in Simplicity, he's now created as well. So this piece you can totally automate just for the sake of this webinar. Um, we have that process uh, in place, so keep that in mind. So we're going to log in with Pat LaFontaine. And we're going to get some security questions. I require all users who um, in my domain who access one login to have a form of authentication based on what you know instead of a what you have. So now I save the security questions, and this user will have access right from here, um, his application. So I'm going to click on Office 365, and assuming I have the correct licenses, we should be able to sign right into our Office portal, and there you go.
and which should also say Pat LaFontaine at improvisely.com right here. So I have access to my cloud applications. Um, the same would be true for Simplicity. Um, accounts now being created. I should land right here, Pat LaFontaine. And then Dropbox will not, is actually going to give me an error because I have to actually approve uh, an email. But just so you guys can actually see that, if you aren't a member of a team, I'm going to switch back over here, come into my Dropbox, my admin user list here, and we should now see a uh, third invite, and that's Pat LaFontaine. So we just created three different users based on that one Active Directory record, um, Office 365, Dropbox, Simplicity. There's many more that we can that we can also do. Now, what happens when this user um, gets offboarded? Um, how do we how do we sever that access? Well, the beautiful thing about these three applications that I showed you, they're using the um, SAML standard, and Microsoft is using WS Fed, which is similar to SAML. Actually, uses a lot of the same principles, um, but the, at the end of the day, they're all they're all certificate based. So a user is never exposed to a password. Therefore, if they were to go to uh, let me actually sign out and I'll show you what that work workflow would be. They never have a password, so we'll close these on you. And what I'm going to do here, oops, it's going to keep me signed in because I have a valid session. So that's actually a really, really nice component, but I don't want that to happen. So we're going to sign out one more time. What happens when a user just goes off the network um, into Microsoft? It prompts me instantly to put in my one login username and password. Since one login is the IDP, we are the gateway between Office 365. So I simply just enter my Active Directory username and password, and I'm granted access to Office 365, as well as any other SAML application. So um, let me log in one more time. And what happens when the user gets on offboarded? I'm going to move into this graveyard here, right from provisioning to graveyard. Now this user will automatically, once it syncs in a couple of seconds here between one login, um, they shouldn't be able to access any of their applications. Now, there may be a second or two of a delay here, but as you can see, instantly, the kill switch should happen. So I can't get into Dropbox, login required, and everything's severed. I'm now offboarded. I have no access. And there is no backdoor because I have no password. And as you saw when we logged into Office, for example, it will continually prompt me for this, this sandbox.onelogin.com, which is the gateway for the identity provider, us being one login. Um, so, that, so that's really provisioning in a fly there. We showed you the creation of the record just by adding the user to this provisioning here. He proliferates all the way through to these different applications. Um, and if I were to refresh here, you would have actually seen a license uh, being taken up by our new user. So Pat LaFontaine. And then um, the same thing would be true in this list. We see the user populating in our managed users list. We'll see Pat LaFontaine in just a moment. And he's right there. So that's the one login provisioning in a nutshell, uh, coupled with SAML. If you guys have any questions, please submit those, and we'd be happy to answer those for you.